using Zoom to do depots created by the NVRA for the NVRA membership. Equipment requirements. Every participant must have a computer with stable, high-speed internet access and a webcam, unless two participants are at the same location. The court reporter will be the host and must have Zoom running on a different computer than their takedown computer. What must you do in advance? Go to zoom.us and download Zoom. Create a Zoom account and sign up for the Pro Plan at $14.95 a month. Schedule a Zoom meeting depot on the computer that you will do the Zoom meeting on. Copy the invitation to the clipboard and paste it into an email, inviting all participants to the Zoom depot. Equipment setup. At the time of the depot, set up your equipment exactly as you would for a normal deposition. You will be dictating, creating text in real time, and or recording audio of the live Zoom room. So you need all of your equipment. Always use power. Running on battery throttles down the CPU speed. Large monitors can be hooked up to the computer that you are running Zoom on so that you can see everyone better. While not mandatory, you may want to consider purchasing external USB speakers for the computer running Zoom so that you can hear everyone very loudly and clearly. USB speakers tend to be far louder than laptop internal speakers. If your client likes playbacks instead of readbacks, you may want to get one for your work computer as well. On the day of the deposition, log on to your Zoom meeting about 15 minutes early. Wait for your participants. Once all participants have arrived, ask each participant to identify themselves and mention to them that the deposition is being recorded visually and audibly by Zoom in the interest of full disclosure. Ask everyone if they can hear everyone else loudly enough and clearly. Once all parties have assured you that they can hear each other and you, it's time to begin the deposition. The reporter might verbally ask all parties if they are ready to go on the record. Once all acknowledge and agree, the reporter should follow the guidelines set by their particular state for identifying the deponent, such as perhaps showing his or her driver's license to the camera. During the Zoom depot, you'll see these bars at the top and bottom of the screen. Go to zoom.us resources to learn more. Your deposition should proceed normally from there. Um, hello, my name is Michelle Gilbo and I represent um, Mr. Sonier and his insurance company Allstate in this lawsuit and I will be conducting this deposition and here is a copy of my business card. I do roofing on the side. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Liz Gia. I'm the attorney for the plaintiff. Hi, my name is Jerry Williams and I'm going to be deposed today and there's my card. Madam Court Reporter, could you swear in the witness for us? Yes. Would you please raise your right hand for me? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Thank you. Are we ready to begin? I'm ready, counsel, whenever you are. Okay, can you give me your name, please? Jerry Williams. Have you got a middle initial or name, Jerry? No, sir. Is that Jerry with a G or a J? A J. 
Do you go by Jerry? Yes, ma'am. Jerry, my name is Michelle Gilbo, and I'm representing Mr. Sonye and his insurance company, Allstate, in this lawsuit that you filed concerning the, well, it's concerning a little event, I think, that happened on November, in November of 1998, over there by Dad's store, right? Yes, ma'am. That's what pre preliminary we're going to be talking about here today. Primarily, we're going to be talking about here today. I'm going to ask you a lot of qu other questions about yourself, though, too. Have you ever done this before? No, ma'am. This is basically a question and answer session. I'll just ask you the question. You tell me what you know. If you don't know the answer to something, you by all means can tell me you don't know, okay? Yes, ma'am. Do me a favor, speak out loud. She's taking things down, everything you say. Try to avoid doing things like nodding your head or saying uh-huh or uh-uh. We need you to speak real clear, okay? Okay. If I ask you something that doesn't make sense or you are confused about the question, tell me to ask you again, and I'll be glad to do that for you. All right? Yes, ma'am. How old are you, Jerry? 37. What's your birth date? March 15, 1962. Where are you from? Brobridge. Born and raised there? Yes, ma'am. Have you lived in any other parishes other than St. Martin during your life? No, ma'am. What's your current address? 261 Blanchard. 261 Blanchard? Yes, ma'am. How long have you lived at that address? I'd say two months. I just moved there. Where did you move from? In other words, what address were you at before Blanchard? 601 Corville. 601 Corville? Yes, ma'am. How long were you there? I'd say about six months. What about before that? Before I was on Mulberry Lane. Mulberry? Mulberry. How do you spell that? M O. M O L B E R T, something like that? Yeah. How long were you at that address? About three years. Are you married or single? Single. Have you ever been married? Yes, ma'am. What was your husband's name? Don Williams. What years were y'all married from? From, uh, it's, it's four years. Uh, it's been four years since we... Y'all divorced four years ago? No, we've been divorced about a year and something now. Did you get divorced in St. Martin Parish? Yes, ma'am. Were y'all married about four years? Is that what you meant? Yes, ma'am. So y'all were married from about, what, 93 to 97, something like that? Yes, ma'am, ab about something like that. Was that your first marriage? No. Who was your first husband? Kelly Williams. What years were y'all married? I'd say about six years. From what years? I don't actually know about from what. Why don't you ballpark it for me? 70s, 80s, or, you know? Uh, about, I'd say, about in the 80s. You were married and divorced from him in St. Martin Parish as well? No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Where does Don Williams live now? He stays on, let's see, 718 Landry Street. Is he married now or single? Single. Does he work anywhere? I think he's self-employed. He does housework. 
What about Kelly Williams? Where does he live? He lives on Mulberry Lane. Is that where you were living for that three-year period you told me about earlier? No, sir. I was living with my mom. He also lived in the apartments. Is Kelly Williams employed anywhere? Yes, ma'am. He's a school teacher. Where? I don't know what school he attends. Somewhere in Burbridge? No, it's in Lafayette. Lafayette Parish School System? Yes, ma'am. And also, uh, Don started working at, what's the name of this place? I think it's Super Kmart or something like that. That's in Lafayette? Yes. Do you know your social security number? No. Do you have a driver's license? No.